All right, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honor unto my apostles and bishops of Great Millstone and citations to the elect of the nation of Israel, which consist of you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the Israelites that are scattered all around the world, which we refer to as the Israelite foreigners. All right, I want to do a quick news update. All right, dealing with the Israel Hamas war. And uh, this article is from USToday.com. It is entitled Bitter Unimaginable Consequences Iran Warns of Repizzle for Israel Attack. So the first, first paragraph reads It says, Tensions in the Middle East showed no signs of easing Monday as high ranking Iranian military official pleaded that Israel will face bitter and unimaginable consequences for its weekend attack on military targets that killed at least four Iranian soldiers. All right, so this war is heating up. As I said, uh, tensions show no signs of easing, man. All right, because you got some of these political leaders here in America talking about they want to uh, denuclearize or, or uh, uh, de-escalate the war over there in the Middle East. And that's not going to happen according to the Bible because all these things are taking place according to the prophecies that's found in the Bible, man. All right. And the actions of these so-called Israelis, the big nose small hats. All right. Which are none other than you Edomites, you so-called white people. That's your true nationality. Your actions is going to lead to what? World War Three, you know, other other countries are going to get involved, man, such as the U.S. and Russia, man. And things are going to heat up. Okay. And uh, Iran is, is, is going to respond, man. Okay. Because you done killed multiple leaders, multiple soldiers, man. And this time, you're not just attacking over there in uh, Gaza, Lebanon. You're attacking in their their borders, in the Iranian borders, man, within Iranian borders, all right, so this thing is heating up, man, it's, it's going to another level, man, okay, Um. so with that being said, let's get the first scripture, this is Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire, right, is this not a battle that's taking place? All right. Now, this battle is not with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. OK, because those battles were fought in the past, in the ancient world, all the way up to uh, the Dark Ages, Middle of the Times. All right. But if you fast forward to modern times. Right? The world, these battles are fought with burning and fuel of fire. All right? We always reference World War II when the world was first introduced to atomic warfare. All right? Via the United States military, man. Dropping those uh, bombs on who? The, the, uh, the Japanese over there, so called Japanese. Hiroshima and Nagasaki, man. All right? And Esau Edom did that. So-called white people did that, man. And why did they do that? Because that's their blessing. Their blessing is the sword that Isaac blessed them with, man. In the book of Genesis, man. All right? And it said, by thy sword thou shalt live, man. Okay? And that's why the scriptures say what? There is no peace unto the wicked, man. Because why? They, they you know, they 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 uh covet fields and take them away by violence, man. Okay? They covet fields, take them away by violence. All right. Uh he he's in everybody's land. Like scripture say he's a proud man, neither keep it at home, man. And the scriptures say he is as deaf. And that's what he's causing roundabout. Death. 
All right. And this war is going to escalate, man. We're in the beginning stages of World War Three, but you know the end of bill is going to be when what them them top them top uh weapons of mass destruction, which is what the nuclear missiles, and the intercontinental the intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. All right. Because they have the highest level of TNT, man. All right. And there, there, there's videos circulating right now on YouTube breaking down the power of these missiles, man. How one one missile with multiple warheads is able to do to, to have millions of casualties, man. Within a mass radius of destruction. Because people like to think that what we're saying is far-fetched or just a joke. This thing ain't no joke, man. Just look up nuclear sim simulations, man. Nuclear missile simulations. Nuclear missile attack simulations, I should say. This thing ain't no joke, man. This thing is deadly serious. All right? Because why? These missiles, as I stated, which the most high put the spirit on these devils to create, they weren't just created to be put up in a museum. No, they were created for a purpose to be used, man. This is all the will of the, the, the most high, man. Because why? The the end is at hand, man. The end of this world as we know it is at hand. And the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now it says that was it on that. Um let's get second that was fifteen. Second that was fifteen, I'm gonna get right to the point. Second that was fifteen. It says uh verse uh twenty eight. Behold, in horrible vision and the appearance thereof from the east. Right? Horrible vision. You know, we know that vision deals with uh, future events, prophecy. All right? And it says, in the appearance thereof from the east, which is over there in the Middle East, where this war is uh, going to be hot and take, you know, primarily take place. You know, the scriptures talk about how the Most High is going to bring them down into the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which is over there in the Middle East. It says, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots. And, you know, the so-called Arabs are you, you uh, Ishmaelites, all right? Now, you got different nations, not just Ishmael, which compose of these Arabs, man, all right? Such as the uh, Midianites, so forth and so on. But, okay, we know that the Arabs, all right, so-called, uh, you know, the so-called Arabs, is linked to who? The Ishmaelites. It says, Shall come out with many chariots, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon earth, that they may, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. It says, Also the Carmanians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood, and with great power shall they come and join battle with them, and shall waste the portion of the lands, the land of, of the Assyrians. Right. Now the Carmanians are who, so-called Iranians, man, the, the the Persians, man. All right, because you 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 could do the research on on Carmania, man. It, it's it goes back to Iran or the Persians. All right, and um, it said it shall they shall join battle together with the dragons of Arabia, which what they're gonna they're gonna uh be allied together against who, all right? These these uh so-called Israelis and uh you know they're gonna destroy they're gonna they're gonna band together to destroy their adversaries, which is primarily America, man. Which says it shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians talking about America, which is biblically known as Babylon the Great. Verse thirty one says, And then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remembering their nature, if they shall turn themselves conspiring together in great power to persecute them. All right, yeah, because the scriptures say what about Ishmael? How he 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 shall be a wild man. Roughly paraphrasing, in the presence before all his brethren. Roughly paraphrase. All right, so there you go, man. This is the time that we living in. All right, nuclear war, nuclear nuclear destruction. All right, World War Three, and things are heating up. And as time goes on, we're gonna continue to bring out different scriptures going into you know, what's going on.
because there's many different scriptures that we can bring out what's going on, you know, pertaining to what's going on, you know. So, um, like I said, I ain't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to end it here. And with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. With that, I'm going to say shalom.